No, this is not the set of a scary movie. But what I'm about to tell you about this place will sound like something straight out of a horror movie, except it's real life. The Tri-State Crematory was established in the 1970s in a small town in Georgia known as Noble. For decades, the crematory ran smoothly under founder Tommy Marsh, a well-respected man in the community. Eventually, the operation was passed over to Tommy's son, Ray, who was sent 2,000 bodies from across Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama during his time as head of operation. All appeared fine until October 2000, when a gas man who arrived to provide service to the property saw something quite suspicious. When he walked in, he found bodies scattered all around the building. Concerned, he contacted the local police department, but unfortunately, they ignored it. Suspicions were raised once again in November of 2001, when the Environmental Protection Agency received an anonymous tip that reported seeing body parts in the woods surrounding Tri-State Crematory. The police department was informed and then checked the surrounding area, but did not find anything. Then, three months later, the EPA was contacted once again from a community member that stated that they were walking their dog when they found a human bone within the proximity of the crematory. EPA agents immediately arrived on the scene, and that is when they found a human skull and other human bones. This prompted the arrival of the police on February 15, 2002, to check out the inside of the crematory. When the police opened the door to the first building, they made a horrific discovery. Bodies were piled high on top of each other of various stages of decomposition. Fluids oozed from some of the bodies onto the floor. Some were still wearing their hospital gowns and the hospital wrist bracelets that they died wearing. From the looks of it, it looked like bodies were dragged across the floor and piled up, left to rot. As police continued, they found a body lying halfway inside of a crematory oven. Coffins were everywhere, one even in a dilapidated hearse holding a badly decomposed man. Another man was found inside of a wooden box, with the skeleton of a baby at his feet. Overall, 339 uncremated bodies were discovered that day. Ray Marshall was arrested and charged with 787 criminal accounts, including theft by deception and the abuse of a corpse. He got 12 years behind bars and was released in 2016.